today's video, I'll show you how to explore the latest update of the Assign app, a tool that helps you manage and install your own apps directly on your iPhone or iPad. This method doesn't require a computer and works with any iOS version. Before we get into eSign, here's something that can save your creative work, especially if you work with screen recordings or demo videos like I do. Ever tried opening a screen recording or HDR video from your iPhone and it just refuses to play? Or your MOV or RAW footage from an iOS tutorial gets corrupted during transfer? That's where Wondershare Repair-It comes in. Repair-It is a powerful tool that can fix broken, corrupted, or unreadable video and image files including MOV HDRR, a W, and even MP4 formats. It's designed for content creators, app reviewers, and anyone dealing with digital media. You simply drag and drop your damaged files, hit repair, and in just a few clicks, your files are restored and ready to use. It also supports batch repair, so you can fix multiple files at once perfect if you film a lot of iOS tutorial content like me. It works on both Windows and Mac OS. So whether you're prepping a screen recording of eSign or fixing your app preview footage, Repair-It has your back. Here's how to install eSign safely on your device. Open Safari and visit applejr.xyz. I have updated the look of my website so that you can easily install eSign with a friendly look. Before installing eSign, first you have to tap Install DNS. Click Allow and install it by going to Settings. Hit Profile Download It. Then click Install. After installed, AppleJR app will appear on your home screen. Open AppleJR app. Then click Install Assign. You can install eSign Link one by one because some Assign links don't work for some devices. Tap Install and wait for eSign to appear on your home screen. After eSign installed, you have to verify it first. Go to Settings. General. VPN and Device Management. Trust the installed profile. Once a sign is trusted, you can now open eSign app. Before signing IPA files, you need a certificate. Here's how to import one in eSign. Open Apple JR app again. Then hit Tab Certificate and download eSign certificate for eSign. Then save the certificate into Files app. Go back to Assign app. Hit three dots on the right corner and click Import. Import the certificate file that you downloaded earlier. Unzip the certificate. You can select the certificate what you want or from the top first. Then click Import. After certificate imported, you can now install your own IPA files. Click three dots again to import your IPA files. Once imported, click Tab Apps. Click icon of the apps and click Signature. Once signed, tap Install and the app will appear on your home screen. Now, I can open and use this open source, IPA files that I signed. I have successfully installed this emulator on my iPad using eSign. That's it for today. The new Zine update makes it much easier to manage your IPA files directly on your iPhone or iPad no computer needed. See you on the next video